Of course, swimming is a common thing in Japan. Uh, being an island country, you have to know how to swim. So uh, kids learn how to swim from elementary school, from kindergarten. There's a pool. And uh, then they actually start learning from elementary school, uh, usually for the last couple of weeks, right before summer vacation. And then the couple of weeks, once you go back to school, the pool's open. Uh, kids maybe practice uh, two, three times a week, unless it's raining, and then they can't go. But uh, that's really common. Almost all schools have a pool. Uh, being from Colorado, I was kind of surprised by that because like a lot of schools don't have a pool, especially elementary schools and middle schools. They don't have pools. Um, and then a lot of people do swimming as a club or activity that they do after school too. So once a week they go to a swimming school and learn to swim there as well. Uh, a lot of kids usually give up on it, you know, by third, fourth grade. They kind of figure out eh, whatever. Um, and then some people continue it further on um, and, you know, compete. Um, but it is, you know, a big part of the culture here and growing up in the summertime, of course, in Japan. Um, uh, there are public pools, of course, where you can go swimming, and there's some that are, you know, your standard place where there's some slides and a little kiddie pool, just your normal things that you might see in the States. Uh, there are also a lot of pools that are connected to onsen, which is the kind of hot springs bath where you can go and uh, take a bath. Now, it's it kind of funny to me because I know there's a few that I've been to hot springs in, in Colorado, for example, but you go there to swim. Um, in Japan, when you go to the hot spring, you go there to bathe. So you don't wear a swimsuit, you go in naked, it's separated boys and girls, um, and you go in there, you know, it's not usually, you can go to some that are private, but there are public ones where you just go in and everybody's all naked and they're all cool with it, which is kind of weird because I'm not used to that. <laughs> Um, it's sort of the, you know, place to be to relax. We don't swim there, though. It's kind of, you know, if you bring little kids and they start goofing around, it's kind of like, no, sit down, be quiet. You know, this is not the place to play. This is the onsen. So <laughs> you're not supposed to play in the hot springs. Uh, and if there is a pool that's connected to the place where there is an onsen, it's not a hot springs pool. It's just a regular pool where people swim. So you'll find a lot of those sometimes. Uh, and then there's some indoor places which are more for fitness and those kinds of things. Uh, so you can find a place to swim all year round if you want to go to some place that's indoors. But uh, definitely, you know, a fun place to be. Now I think the thing that is uh, you know most surprising to Japanese people when they go abroad is the crazy swimsuits people wear in the States uh, how little they cover their body how proud they are to show all their skin a lot of people here are like wow you guys have are so not modest at all um, so that's shocking that way I think if you come here you'd be surprised by how covered up everybody is um, in uh, uh, when you take swimming classes at school there's a standard kind of uniform style swimsuit you have to have um, it's all the same kind of navy blue um, and then, you know, you can wear cute, there's cute ones, of course, all the girls are really cute ones, but they're not these really revealing bikini kinds of ones. Uh, they're usually more one piece or like a tankini or something that's more covering everything up. And then too, a lot of people are very careful about getting sunburned, so you see a lot of people wearing, you know, the, the short sleeve or long sleeve sun protection shirts and stuff. Um, when older women will wear, you know, more things that cover everything up to keep uh, away from stuff. Everybody has to wear a swimming cap, which is really weird because I'm not used to wearing those. We don't even care about that kind of thing in the States, which I guess in terms of the hygiene and cleanliness of the pool is kind of gross, but we just go in with our hair. So uh, everybody has to have a cap on if you're going to be swimming, though. Uh, so that's sort of the common image. It's not as fashionable, maybe, as you might be used to seeing swimming be in um, other places. Now, if you go to the beach, it can be more fashionable because people don't really go into the water very much, they're just hanging out on the beach. So looking cuter is more the goal, not practicality. So, um, but one thing I'm kind of surprised by always being here is that you can't have a tattoo and go to the pool, which I just strange to me. Uh, tattoos in general in Japan are kind of looked on as being part of the Yakuza kind of, you know, Japanese mafia sort of image. And I guess they just can't get away from that, despite the fact that tattoos have evolved and are for other people too. Uh, you can't have any tattoos and be allowed in the pool. Um, I, I was confused by it. I don't know if it's really a question of hygiene or just because they think it scares the crap out of everybody when they see one. So I think it's more the scaring thing. So um, I have one and I have to cover it up when I go swimming and uh, you know you don't want people to know you have it because uh, then they might kick you out so um, it's kind of a thing to 
consider if you happen to be from the States. I don't think, I, I always try to tell my husband, I don't think they'll get on my case about it because I'm a foreigner, but um, you never know what they might choose to say depending on the rules of the pool. So uh, something to kind of keep in mind if you happen to be sporting some serious ink and you want to go swimming when you're in Japan, you might run into a little problem with that. But um, I definitely love going swimming. I spent every day that I had during summer vacation at the pool. Uh, you know, fun to swim, fun to play, fun to tan. Tanning is not part of the whole thing here. The goal is to not tan. Uh, you try desperately to cover with like lotions and everything you can so that you don't tan. Little kids uh, in school, you know, don't bother with all that, and so they get, you know, beautiful, beautiful brown color. Um, they, uh, my daughter, chain, you know, is so tan, it's kind of ridiculous. She looks like a whole different person. But um, usually, uh, once you get a little older, people just are trying everything and anything possible to stay white. Um, which is good, because I don't tan. I freckle and turn red and then go back to being white again. So it's nice to be in a place where I don't get criticized for having super, super pale skin. Uh, I kind of fit in here a little better than I did in the States, where everybody would call me a ghost. So 